Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 14th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. We're starting out here looking at the sun for the past 48 hours of imagery, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. We did have multiple M-class solar flares, and as well a minor X-class solar flare just over the past 24 hours. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have lots of plasma filaments dancing around the surface, active sunspot region cresting in, and as well, big Earth-facing sunspot right now. And here is the region that was crackling with this M-class solar flares and X-class solar flare in the outgoing position, but yet Earth-facing. Look at those la pl large plasma filaments lifting away too. Quick look here at those solar flares just occurring over the past 24 hours. Notable here, multi-spectrum plasma filaments and as well a very large coronal hole in the northern hemisphere right now of our sun. Amongst the 12 sunspot regions, looking at 171 angstroms here, you can really see lots of plasma loops and amazing to see our coronasphere or heliosphere. Amazing images there of 12 sunspot regions. Quick look here at those regions in motion. There's the big player for the M class and X class. A couple notable twin sunspot regions there. And as well in the northern hemisphere underneath the coronal hole and cresting into view. So lots of activity coming our way current space weather conditions we are under r3 strong radio blackout impacts are expected and that is from the most recent m class and x class solar flare solar winds are coming in at 318 kilometers per second right now solar x-ray flux as you can see showing there sporadic m class and one minor x class solar flare proton flux remains low geomagnetic activity Coming up to a 1.7 today, KP 1.7. Space Weather Prediction Center showing the next few days for their space weather prediction. Minor instability expected, 15th into the 16th. Other than that, no major solar storms coming our way. But ISWA here showing very large backside CME taking off, giving uh, Venus a glancing blow little yellow circle there beside the sun is our planet minor instability expected as i said 15th into the 16th and now let's have a look at alaska too showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun actually this is showing the last four days I'll give you a full update as i have not uploaded in a couple days welcome back everybody and thank you for watching Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Get in the comments section. If you enjoy these updates, please let me know and I'll keep going. These are the most recent solar flares, or sorry, CMEs taking off from our sun. None of them in an Earth-directed fashion. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As we're sitting at a very low number, USGS reporting only 175 earthquakes, 24-hour period. But we did see 4.3 earthquake to Fino, Canada. That's right, off the coast yet again. As well, Adak, Alaska, 4.5. Pretty deep earthquake there. Kamchatka, 4.3 Russia. As well, activity through the Izu Islands region. Japan Islands region. Nishinashima has been puffing all week long. Continual activity from Philippines north to Taiwan. Deepest earthquake today, 586 kilometer depth, 5.3 magnitude Fiji. And as well, 317 kilometer depth today. Now this is a region I've been watching because 
I kind of warned that there would be an earthquake or could be a large earthquake. Kermadec Trench, this could be next. So still, on watch for the Kermadec's large earthquake. Southeast Indian Ridge reporting a 5.0 magnitude there. And as well, just recently, a 5.0 magnitude. India. That's right. Kolu, Pakistan, India. Right on the Arabian and Indian plate. African plate and northward, pretty quiet. South America, most recent being 4.9 Chile. Notable earthquakes through Panama, Nicaragua, and as well northward up into Mexico. 3.5 earthquake here reported, Winoka, Oklahoma. And as I said, low numbers right now. 175 to 190 on average for 24 hours. Quick look here at the last seven days. Something is brewing, folks. We've seen lots of activity off the coast of Canada at the Juan de Fuca plate, and I don't think it's over. I think we're going to see a lot more activity here over the next few days, and it will be bouncing to the Kermit deck and most likely into the mid Atlantic and south of Africa yet again. This is a glance at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Very deep and large earthquake this week. Marianas Trench as well. Philippines. Pretty sizable earthquakes popping off on the west coast as well. And the Wanda Fuga Plate. Much love everybody if you live in an earthquake prone zone. Just be ready and have a plan. Now let's have a look at our air quality report brought to you by our 48 active and erupting volcanoes across the world. Notable there from Guatemala, north to Mexico, and as well, Kamchatka, eastern Russia. Some big plumes coming out of there, and as well through the Aleutian Islands, Alaska. Southern Hemisphere has been pretty busy as well. Most of all this SO2 swirling around in the Southern Hemisphere right now is from the eruptions in Colombia this week. And as well through Chile. And some sizable eruptions at the Yasser volcano. And Aoba. New Caledonia. Quick glance here at Europe and Africa. Large continual eruptions at Etna and Stromboli. And as well some interesting plumes coming out of Iran and Iraq. Lots of volcanoes popping off. Indonesia, Philippines, and Papua New Guinea. Now let's have a quick look here at temperature forecast here. Long range forecast showing heat wave, heat dome moving straight northward all the way to northwest territories of Canada. Heads up everybody, it's going to be a very hot week. Especially through the United States. And as well... Canadian prairies northward into Northwest Territories. Other side of the planet, same thing. Very warm during the day and not cooling out off, off at all throughout the, throughout the night. Quick glance here at the Mid-Atlantic Current. I'd like to share here most recent images of our currents for the North Atlantic. Give you a quick show here. Present versus last year. So 2023. And here is 2024. 2023, 2024. There is a little bit of a difference, folks. Just wanted to share these visuals with you. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Monsoon rains continue all across India, Taiwan, and Malaysia. No typhoons or cyclones forming in the long range. Just some very heavy rains and as well a big system here moving into Western Australia for the long range. 22nd into the 23rd. Overlooking Europe and Africa, South America. 
daily evaporation rains through Central Africa. No major systems affecting Europe this week. Lots of high pressure. Lots of dry air. And as well, some warm temperatures. Possible tropical system here developing through the mid-Atlantic. For long-range forecast, we'll be keeping an eye on that. Let's have a look at North American weather as we've got multiple lows spreading across western Canada and the United States. Big high-pressure ridge moving in by next Tuesday into Wednesday. And just watch for daily evaporation, thunderstorms, and scattered extreme weather all across southern United States and Ontario. Multiple systems affecting Newfoundland and the Atlantic provinces this week as well. And very dry across the west. Something else I'd like to share here is our upper level winds depicting our southern polar vortex. This is overlooking Atla uh, Antarctica. Those upper level winds are coming in at 463 kilometers an hour. Versus our northern hemisphere. Which during the winter time this is going to flip flop. And we're going to see all of those fast winds in the north. Hope you enjoyed the show everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And you daily do. Bye, Bye now. If you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.